Okay, today is a bit more show and tell. What you're looking at here is not the 88 that we showed you the first time. Uh, that chassis was in very poor condition. And here it is here. Okay, it's not in its original format, as you can see. But uh, I was concerned about uh, the shape of the chassis and some of the angles and things that were built into all the repairs, if you could call them repairs. And so we decided to cut this one up and have a good look at it and to concentrate on building the jig so that it was large enough to uh, you can see how bad these chassis are, even externally when they don't look too bad. You can see how thin this material's got. Um, so a rudimentary repair is still not appropriate in most cases. So what I've done is cut this one up and taken um, a long wheelbase, a 109 chassis, off a 3A and brought it in and we'll build the jig around this chassis. Uh, that'll allow us to build an 88 inside the chassis uh, jig and to accommodate a larger one. So a single jig will do two chassis. So we've started laying up a lightweight jig. The reason we're not going for a big uh, heavy construction is that most people are under the impression that a big jig with lots of hold down points will help uh, with your welding process and prevent twisting. Well, that is not the case. Uh, in fact, if your welding process is incorrect, uh, the, the pull that you get from the heat distortion, will uh, a jig will be no match for it and you'll still get a bent chassis. So uh, what we're doing here is building a, a uh, rotisserie A-frame at either end. And I'll walk you through that as we develop it um, so that we can rotate the chassis as we build it. We're going to use this large frame as our outline and components will come off there to locate uh, all the hanging points on the chassis. And we're careful to find out where the centre of gravity is through the chassis and that's why we've mounted some of our uh, chassis jig on top of this chassis so that when it's floating in the air and we want to rotate it, all of the weight stays around the centre so that the mass doesn't move away from the centre too much and flick over on you. So that's something to remember if you attempt to make a, a jig of your own. So uh, there we go, we've got an A-frame at this end, we've got an A-frame at that end. We are mounting uh, various components on the top of this chassis. Some will be mounted on the bottom. We're going to cut out the uh, gearbox mount and make it the military style bolt-in version so that it's easier to get gearboxes in and out. And uh, we'll just review how we do most of this. Now, most of the external components will be uh, 2 to 2.5 millimeter mild steel, uh, but the main chassis rails will build out of 3 mil mild steel. And we're just starting to draw those up today uh, so that we can cut them out on the water jet. And we're considering where we'll limit those drawings so that we can offer a front cutout for those that want to do repairs, a rear cutout, and we will be speaking with the LVVTA people to see whether they think we can get away with building a chassis in two parts and putting the join through here with a fish plate on it and that centre component helping us bring the strength back into the chassis. That's an option. Uh, it's been done elsewhere and it works very well. So we'll have a think about that. That's where we're up to today. I'll follow up more with you as we begin the jig uh, completion process. Here you can see um, a component that was purchased from a supplier in the UK. 
we've all seen these before. We wanted to see if we could make one very quickly so it's cost effective. So we built two yesterday. They pretty much identical in shape to the ones that we've purchased in the UK. They're nice and square. They've got good welds. We haven't put a back plate on them at this stage and we're just debating whether we need to do that. We, we won't be doing that for our chassis builds. They'll go on like this. But if we make these for sale, we probably put this back plate on because people seem to like them. We've got uh, some plans with some drawings and we'll use those to help um, confirm our measurements off all these chassis.